Hello, welcome. I am Samir Desai, and I'm representing the Accelerator Integration Portfolio, the Data Hub. Hello, this is Anant Raman from EQ Technologic. I'm Head of Development Integration Suite of Products. Right. Today, Anant and I are going to walk you through how you can create a digital thread across your enterprise, leveraging the Accelerator Portfolio and EQ DAS. We're going to do this in four steps. Introduce you to a problem statement, what our solution approach is, and then finally, what the takeaways and conclusions are as to how you can start consuming and the value you get out of this. Let's dive right into the challenge. Consider a shop floor, a factory, that one of our customers have out there today, where their assets, their devices are connected to the IoT platform, and they're constantly sending information about the operational aspects of those devices. At some point of time, a machine is going to have a problem. When that problem occurs, the job of the service technician is to bring it back to life as soon as they can, minimize the downtime so that the production can keep on going at the highest possible throughput. In order to do this, the technician is going to require information such as what was the problem? Where did it fail? Was there, is there a history of problem with this machine? Are there spare parts available? If I need to reply or respond to something, can I do that? Those are the kinds of things that actually sit in different systems in your enterprise. For the technician, he or she does not care where they are. What they care for is how do I get access to all this information so that I can fix the problem on the ground and get the machine back up and running. If you think about this, this is not a just a problem that in this use case that this service technician or the service manager is going to face. This is a very common set of problems that we see and hear from our customers. And these are the following. The information is very distributed. Because it is distributed, it is very difficult to understand how the different pieces of information are connected. And if they don't understand that information, it is not very easy to take action. Plus, how do you actually get all these things into really good applications at the fingertips of the user at a much more optimal cost and not have to spend too much time, energy, and money getting to that? Now, with that problem statement, the solution approach that we offer is a combination of what you have with the Accelerator integration and EQ DAS. From an Accelerator perspective, the portfolio overall provides a platform that is ubiquitous, can be deployed in multiple different formats and ways with a lot more strong development services as well as application services, which could all be brought together into value-added applications and solutions that are focused to specific industries. Today, however, we're going to focus primarily on the integration services aspect of this platform. When we talk about integration services, we refer to the Accelerator Data Hub. The Data Hub approaches the integration problem across multiple areas and multiple axes. The more important one are the four business level maturities that customers go through, but they also go through this across the different domains of data that they're dealing with. So starting with the first level is just being able to get access to the various types of data pieces that are existing in your environments, whether they are enterprise related, whether they are PLM or operational technologies. Well, once you have access to this pieces of information, the next level is being able to build value added solutions that are focused on individual domains. For example, workflow simplifications for your business processes change management and process management across your PLM data pieces, whether they be design, engineering, manufacturing, simulation, whatnot. And in case of OT, is being able to understand what is the health of your assets? How are your processes operating and working on your shop floor? Once you understood these individual level domain specific applications, bringing together domain specific data, the next level is bringing information from multiple domains, whether it is bringing data from PLM and OT, 
enterprise or OT, enterprise or PLM. It does not matter. You need to be able to start consuming data pieces and processes coming in from more than one domain so that you can create this composable enterprise applications. The next frontier is around connecting everything, all the major systems across all your key domains that you're working on and establishing a complete digital thread across these data pieces. Siemens offers a whole platform as well as a broad set of portfolio as part of its offerings to tackle these challenges. Starting all the way from how do you expose and get access to the data pieces coming from different systems is enabled through a connector framework and a set of connectors. Once you have access to this data, you can start building value-added applications using the low-code platform, which modernizes the use cases and the user flows that your users need to achieve. You get into the PLM arena, start doing and leveraging capabilities that come in from the team center portfolio, as well as along with the portfolio of our manufacturing suite, simulation suite, and electronic data automation. All those pieces help you take and conquer your PLM space. And on the OT space, you start leveraging the MindSphere and the Ops Center product seats and portfolios. As you mature into the cross-domain area, bringing information from different pieces is where the data hub steps in. With the combination of the catalog, the broker, and the EQ DAS capabilities, you have the ability to start pulling information from all these different sources in conjunction with the catalogs to create a federation between the data pieces across these different environments, different systems, and enable the process orchestration between them. At the end of it, all these information and the collection of data is made discoverable through the catalog, and it can be consumed in multitude of different ways. For example, consuming it through the low-code platform to build your applications and solutions, or feeding that into BI and analytic systems so you can do a lot more dashboarding capabilities, reports, drill downs, and understand the amalgamation of information coming from all these different places. What we're gonna see next is how the collection of this portfolio can be pulled together with the specific elements that are required to solve the problem that our technician was facing. It's gonna consume the data pieces and the portfolio elements that are offered by Siemens and EQ, but also what can be consumed from non-Siemens systems such as ERP and EAM systems, enterprise asset management systems. To help you take onto this journey, I'm going to invite my friend Anand to help you understand that. Thank you, Samir. What we see here is the architecture of uh, Ecube DAS platform. Ecube MI forms the digital backbone across uh, the enterprise, connecting various uh, source application. Ecube MI connects to different source systems, and the arrow you see on the either side of the digital backbone are the EQB connectors which connect to the source systems, namely PLM, ALM, ERP, legacy databases, IoT systems, and so on. I would like to bring certain facts about EQB connectors. There are 60 plus connectors which are already certified and released in the market. These connectors are API-based connectors and are loosely coupled which means uh, it can honor the source system security and they are capable of loading source system model even if they are customized. If you are using EQB connectors, there is no coding required for lost mile connectivity and EQB connectors are upgrade tolerant, which means if the source applications version is changed, the solution you developed using the EQB connectors need not be reworked, redeveloped. The REST and ODATA APIs which you expose using the EQM DAS platform are consumed through various apps in this image. The app which is shown at the top are the apps which can consume. These apps can be developed by any technologies, namely Mendix, Web UI, and so on. Now we know the architecture. Let us also look into how this 
DAS platform and the accelerator platform collaborate together. What you see at the bottom are the applications which are connected using eCube connector. And these connectors provide the source system model. And we have defined a solution specific model and the mapping between the solution specific model and the source system model is defined using eCube TM. And these mappings are consumed by the process pipelines, which are defined in eCube MI, which orchestrates the execution of these mappings. And these process pipeline are again exposed as ODATA and REST API through the API gateway. The platform comes with inbuilt data virtualization layer, which mashups the data across system and provides a single view. The REST API as well as the ODATA API is consumed by the data catalog as well as the Mendix low code app development in making this integration solution, which is plant monitoring and maintenance. Let us look into our approach in creating this solution. As you see here, there are six steps which define our approach. Leverage the pre-built connectors to connect to the source systems. Build a model in eCube TM that maps information from these source systems. Create an eCube MI process pipeline across these systems and orchestrate the execution. Publish the ODATA services to Data Hub catalog and make a REST service available to Mendix low code app development for consumption and build the application using this platform. This platform uses both REST as well as uh, ODATA API in making this solution. Now that we know the approach, let me walk you through the demonstration of this application. Here is the app plant monitoring and maintenance developed using Mendix and Equip Dash platform, providing the service technician the combined view of asset and event information from IoT system, service maintenance history from enterprise asset management system, which is IBM Maximo, the engineering design information from PLM system, which is Team Center, and the in inventory information from ERP system, which is SAP. The service technician get to see the list of assets in the production line fetched from the IoT system as well as the EAM system and shown to him. Out of the list of assets presented on the left hand side, you can see under the plant view, one of the asset is highlighted with a warning symbol recurring maintenance. This particular asset service technician picks up for investigation and looks into it and get to see the combined view of asset information related to the event log from the IoT system, the service maintenance history from the EAM system, and the designs bomb from the PLM system. The events are generated based on the rules configured in the IoT system. The service technician acknowledges this event and also look into the parameters that are responsible for this generation of the event. Once he understands these details, he goes ahead and creates a problem report and send it to engineering for the feedback. Now, the service technician picks up this asset to know further about the parameter which caused the generation of the event and also looking for the feedback from the engineering and get to see the IoT time series data as well as the event related problem report in PLM and the design information from PLM and the inventory information from the ERP. As you can see under the diagnostic view, the parameter motor speed was set with a threshold of 2000 and the motor speed has gone below 1600 on a particular date and time, which you can correlate between the asset events in asset view and the diagnostic view. The technician understood that this is the parameter which has caused the generation of the event and now he looks into the resolution of this particular issue. The engineering has shared its feedback by analyzing this information further and identified the root cause of this uh, issue. The service technician now knows the issue and looks for the feedback from the engineering. The engineering has identified the issue and suggested the replacement of the faulty part and also provided additional details about the inventory and also the design bomb. 
the service technician checks that particular part and confirms the availability of the inventory and goes for the replacement by creating a work order providing the details about the part and suggesting the replacement of the part the work order is created in the eam system and also added to the maintenance history this is how the mendix as well as the equip dash platform collaborate together and provide a solution for the service technician wow anand that was very impressive and powerful what you have just shown to this audience is if we pull together the capabilities and the portfolio of the accelerator youtube das and mendex we can very easily convert the problem statements of having information that is distributed in different places and convert that into a very action oriented application that the user can interact with and make it a lot more tangible for them to understand and act upon the various pieces of information that they're dealing with in essence creating a very delighted end user now this is not only the challenge and the problem for this particular scenario this can be expanded to a lot more broader scenarios and problem statements that we see our customers face in essence being able to create the digital thread opportunities by converting the challenges that they face into opportunities opportunities such as being able to bring your business systems closer when you bring the business systems closer you are now able to have a very good understanding of how your different data pieces are connecting what can you do with the collective insights that you are able to gather and take your business to the next level for solving the problems that not only you have but your customers have by leveraging the low code integration platform and the low code application development platform so with that makers let's go assemble the digital threads leveraging the accelerator data hub and ecube das i hope you all enjoyed the session Happy Mendix World. Thank you.